Hello, I'm Ira Martinak and this is Enrico Martin. And we're here to talk to you about Ashley Foods and their problems with the tiger shrimp in Sweden today. Through social media, tiger shrimp has received a lot of attention lately, which has mainly been negative. So the problem that we are, have our dodgy countries like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and the Philippines are examples of countries who produce the majority of the world's tiger shrimp are being unethical. Tiger shrimp farms in these countries have been clearing tens of thousands of hectares of mangrove forests to build tiger shrimp farms. These farms cause coastal erosions, alter alterations in sedimentation patterns and shoreline configurations. A large proportion of the local population is excluded from these activities. Most of the shrimp farmers are owned by overseas investors. The local community continue to be just as poor as ever. So uh, there are three alternatives uh, I'm going to talk about. The first one, doing nothing. The second one, boycotting the shrimp product. And the third one, partnering with non-government organizations or NGO. Doing nothing, first one. Export will just continue on business as normal, which is marketing and selling imported tiger shrimp from Southeast Asia. The pros are there is no potential loss of value. Maintain competitive advantage over their competitors such as ICA and KF Cork. The demand for tiger shrimp is increasing each year. If export still continues to sell tiger shrimp, they will definitely increase their profits. It is also difficult to find a substitute for tiger shrimp as it is good source for copper, iron, vitamin D, and selenium compared to other fish. The cons is export could face negative reputation. There's also risk for stakeholders to force their opinions which could possibly cause disloyalty and exit. The second one, boycotting the shrimp product. Export to remove shrimp, uh, tiger shrimp from all of their stores. This involves st uh, stop importing tiger shrimp from Southeast Asia countries and not retailing in any of the stores in Sweden. The pros are export uh, will increase corporate social responsibility Export would uh, be seen as a company who respect and care about human rights, which could attract socially aware customers and drive more sales. The cons are Tiger Shrimp is luxury goods and popular among consumers, so by boycotting, they may lose some potential customers. Tiger Shrimp also generates a relatively high marginal profit for the company so boycotting could potentially make export loss of income. Export would also lose competitive advantage in fish and shellfish against their competitors. Some of uh, Southeast Asia's tiger streams farmers could potentially lose their income or jobs if export decides to boycott the product. Next, we will go to third one, partnering with NGO. Export to partner with non-government organizations such as St Stockholm uh, Consumer Corporate Society, Global Gap, and Worldwide Fund for Nature. Co uh, they will continue to sell and source tiger stream while making their production and consumption more sustainable. The pros are consumers could see that export try to sell better product instead of totally removing the product. Consumer who still demand the product would also still consume the product and it is one of export's tasks to fulfill what consumer wants. The cons is that uh, it would be difficult to change the way the tiger stream is produced. Next, uh, I'm going to talk about the analysis though. So we have done some analysis uh, to, uh, for this case study, such as SWOT analysis, FAST analysis, and Porter Five Forces analysis. So this is our SWOT analysis. Um, we will go to our best analysis. 
and then next we will go for quarters five and then enforcers. Now I'll pass you back to Ira. Thank you, Enrico. After using several analysis tools mentioned earlier, we have concluded for ASPRI to partner with non-government organizations, NGOs. This would allow ASPRI to continue to sell and source tiger shrimp while making their production and consumption more sustainable. Although it is noted that it would be difficult to change the way that tiger shrimp is produced, partnering with NGO could reduce sustainability issues. Furthermore, consumers who still demand the tiger shrimp could still enjoy the product. We chose this alternative over boycotting the tiger shrimp because that would be a bad idea as demand for tiger shrimp is increasing. Boycotting it would cause other firms, including the black market, to take control of the distribution and sale of tiger shrimp. Most of the firms who have no regulations or code of contact. It would be detrimental for the fish and sailfish market in Sweden. Also, not doing anything would cause environmental activists to file a complaint with ASPE. This will hurt their repu reputation. There is also a risk for stakeholders and investors who present disloyalty and leave the company. For ASPE to show good corporate social responsibility, they would have to contribute to sustainable source in fish and selfish products. This leads us on to our implementation. We chose for number one for ASPE to contact and form relationship with the Stockholm Consumer Corporate Society, Global Gap, and the Worldwide Fund for Nature. Secondly, research where the tiger shrimp countries of origin are, and then go to Southeast Asian countries to analyse the production of tiger shrimp. Four, form relationship with the Southeast Asian tiger shrimp farmers. Number five, bring transparency to the supply chain of tiger shrimp. Number six, along with the Stockholm Consumer Cooperative Society, Global Gap and the World Wide Fund for Nature, offer farmers advice on how to be more sustainable and ethical on how to produce tiger shrimp. Number seven, ex food which should start to control production methods in Southeast Asia to meet health and safety standards and ensure child labour free production like what they did in China with the barbecue grills. And lastly, Exclude should establish their own tiger shrimp farms in Southeast Asia and practice sustainable and ethical tiger shrimp farm methods. This would be an ideal role model for other farmers in the region. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>